welterweight belt tomorrow. Like no one can deny me I'm a like I belong in the Hall of Fame, you know. Well, being a veteran in the game, you already, you already fought in the UFC before, you also fought eating um one eat champion. So how is it like that you're now bringing your veteran more in this chatting at your third third at the UFC? It's crazy. If, you, if like five years ago you asked me to fight at Harvard, I would be like, oh, easy fight, easy fight. Like if my teammate fought, we fought on the same shows before. Yeah, I have a long history with our, uh, like he, me and him coached the same gyms in Malaysia. But man, in a way, we both started our careers the same way. I was one in four of my first five pro fights. Arvin, one win, eight losses, his first nine fights. But lately, these last few years, COVID hasn't slowed him down. He's won seven fights in a row. He's a much dangerous fighter than now. He's a really good boxer. He got, he's explosive. You know, I, I know I got to be careful tomorrow, but uh, man, I think I've had way more experience. I've way more fights. So I still don't think he can handle he can handle what I'm going to do tomorrow. Thank you. We have said, Arvin, you got, you're on a seven fight winning streak, and you're going to be fighting a veteran for for the UFC fight. So, para ano yung pag-aanda mo na yun? Pwede ka na kalaban mo, nag-UFC pa dati, may kinilala pang galing, even may nag-one. So, ikaw, ano yung discussion mo kung mawala yun? Isa mo pwede ka na lang yung build show? Ayun, naging busy rin naman ako. Yung pandemic, yung homing to. Gaya ng sinabi ni Will, pareho rin kami malapit sa Malaysia. So, nag-boxing ako doon, nag-ground. So, kung pandemic, naging busy ako. Tapos pag noong September, lumaban ako sa UAE, lumaban ako ng amateur boxing ng Jiu-Jitsu sa Malaysia. So, pagdating dito sa Pilipinas, nag-continue lang ako. Uh, masasabi ko, ang hirap ng pinagtaan ako ng camp ngayon. Pinaghandaan ko kasi alam ko dadating ko eh. Hindi ko lang alam na si Will yung makakalaban ko. Pero, challenge natin. Kasi, nagawin ko lahat. Hindi ko ibibigay sa kanya mo. Yun lang ang pag-promise mo. You mentioned like training up na pa sa Malaysia sa PA. So, ano yung naging advantage na pag-train abroad sa end of this of your fight here sa kanya? Ah, doon mafo-focus ko talaga. Kasi wala namang yung ano doon eh. Wala namang gimmick doon eh. Wala ka kaibigan doon. So, ikaw pati yung coach mo lang. So, yun lang takbo. Lahat lahat lang ginagawa. Yun lang. Thank you. I'm good. Thank you very much. Uh, hello, fighters. Hello, UICC. Hello, Chief Alvin. My name is Siausa. I'm from Filipino Warrior MMA. Um, I just want to ask the fighters to go back. Uh, isang question lang, tapos para sa inyo lahat. Uh, sa tingin nyo, Ano yung uh, advantage nyo sa kalaban nyo and sa tingin nyo, paano nyo sila tatalunin? Same question sa mga fighters sa likod. Uh, let's start kay, ano? Sorry bro. Uh, sa tingin mo, uh, ano yung advantage mo sa kalaban mo and paano mo siya matatalo? Kaya na ako mag-good ito. Bukas pala na ako na lang natin. Okay, salamat. Rocky boy. Isa lang kayo sabi ko. Magaling ako. Nice one. Ang advantage ko siguro kay King Panot. Yun o. Para siyang role ko na may kamay. Diba ako suntok yung buwan. Ryan Lugo, what can you say to your opponent, Alexander Rabalia? My advantage is my speed and my technique is much more superior than his. That's all. Okay. So, mag-stick lang kami sa game plan na sinimulate namin ang camp ko. Jury? Anong advantage mo sa kalaban mo? Paano mo siya tatalunin? Kalaban na lang bukas. Kalaban na lang bukas. Okay. Sa akin yung anak, yung training na pinagala mo itong laban na ito. Kasi gusto ko mabigyan ng magandang laban ng kalaban ko at yung mga manonood na impress sa laban. 
Pizzarana, MJ Aprilio, and Sabi Caballeros, welcome to the URC City. So I want to test your grappling tomorrow. So I will show you to be my skilling to be a young yeah. striker. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Silent assassin, Alexander Ravalier. Uh, para sa akin, yung magaling sa jiu-jitsu yung kalaban ko. Siguro magkasabayan na lang siguro kami. Salamat. King Pinoy. Para sa akin, magaling magsalita ang kalaban ko. Ang mga test is, I'm going to win by power, heart, and my determination. Oh, wow. Bob, ang um, advantage ko lang yung training tsaka yung magandang preparation namin at magandang training ko. Okay. Um, Stewart, please. How's your weight cut? I mean, uh, what, what's your advantage? I think advantage? the weight was like way harder than the actual fight. Like, the training and everything was hard. But the actual fight, I'm not worried about it. I train hard, you fight hard, you train hard. Thank you very much, Mr. Jones. I'm gonna decapitate this man, bro. Elbows or whatever, you're done. Trust me, bro, I felt you. You're done. <laughs> Chester, what can you say? Uh, I mean, Will? Tomorrow's gonna be my 132nd professional fight. Wow. Everything. Wow. So, uh, no one can beat my experience. So, you guys lock out tomorrow. How about the Koreans? Last one for the Koreans. What can you say about the Filipino uh, fighters? So first of all, we think that our techniques and the quality of our trainings are more um, advanced and more, um, it's better than that of the Philippines. And because of that, we are sure that we will be the Philippines. Okay, tomorrow, I'm ready. I'm ready to run. Yeah. Hello, the bad boy. Uh, this is a good fight. Uh, maybe uh, first round. Ooh. Yeah, that's the plan. I uh, think in first round. But uh, the train that we did for the past month, uh, the kids are not giving us. Uh, we train so hard. Everything we do for the past month is how to beat these guys. No matter how much the size uh, difference is, and we're ready for war. That's it. Thank you. Good. Let's go. what can you say to your opponent, Will? So, advantage <laughs> Hindi ako lalabas ng ring na, alam mo yun, papakamatay ako sa loob ng ring. Yeah! Yes, yeah. sir! Sa akin na, trash up na, visit na ako. Pero ito siya sa isang isto. Sabi ko pa lang po. John? We work hard, we train hard. Yeah, come on, yeah. baby! <laughs> okay, my next question is to, to the godfather of Philippine MMA, Mr. Chief Alden of Aguilar. Um, uh, I was a contender of uh, the first MMA reality show in the Philippines, <coughs> and it's called Real Pinoy Fighter. So uh, my question for you is, uh, is there any chance they have any future plans to do another one, Real Pinoy Fighter Season 2 next year? Yes, that's actually all in the works. Uh, when our partner comes here later, he might be able to announce our new TV partner. We're not allowed to say it yet, but uh, we're going to have a very, very huge TV partner once again. And I will be staking a Philippine MMA and uh, 
to the next direction once again. Thank you, brother. Yeah. And of course, we never forgot your participation, Yelsa. Thank you so much. Okay, before we ask uh, our audience for any question, we have a Facebook uh, question.